So I saw this young lady in Calgary a few days ago and she shared a life experience with me. She's currently studying in Bow Valley College and she's out of school right now. Like she's currently out of school because of how much, because of $2,000, like $2,000, she was out. Of, she's out of school. Even right now, she's the one owing the school money and be like, you can see how oh, the, the school did not refund, um, you know, uh, school fee and they are sending a letter that, hey, you are owing us $2,000 and also she's out of school. So uh, I was in Calgary for like six days. I traveled there just to say hi to friends and family. That's why I've not posted a video now for like seven days. So for my side, this is the same avatar. So now from my side to Calgary is roughly 10 hours drive. So now uh, that is how Canada is and is still the same state, the same province. So now and... She shared a life experience with me, like uh, she is currently in Bow Valley College and her tuition fee is twelve thousand dollars, you know, for the semester. And uh, she she worked, she gathered like four thousand dollars, and back home, you know, her family, friends, everybody, guy, you know, sent her roughly six thousand dollars. So now she's owing the school twelve thousand, uh, like extra. Uh, she she has to pay twelve thousand dollars, you know, and she gathered like nine thousand six seven hundred. So she's owing the school roughly two thousand plus. So she already registered for her semester classes. You know, she has attended various classes and everything is going well. Like she's planning to like pay the balance and all that, you know, but she was unable to pay that balance of two thousand dollars. 2000 plus so the school you know you know how canadian school is now they'll keep sending you mail and letter like hey pay pay our school fee before so so did so she was running around calling friends calling everybody you know in nigeria like if they could help her to pay like she was unable to get her money like working 20 hours a week so like there's no way you can gather that money you know within a short period of time and the deadline passed and the school uh, closed our portals and that's the first thing they would do. So they closed our portal like you're a normal student of, our, of, you know, of this school, go back home. And um, she was just, you know, skip running around. Now they, you have to like mail your maybe international student advisor or something, you know, and she mailed, she went to school, plead with everybody like hey you know it's just i'll pay next semester i'll pay you know i'll pay this money in just give me some time or give me a breakdown on how to pay but no breakdown uh they're, they're like you know there's no option like it's you've passed the deadline and right now she's at home not in school she already paid nine thousand plus to the school and no they didn't refund the money, like no refund. So you, they, they were like, there was a time for refund. You already attend class. You already did some things. You already attend, uh, register for the course. And there's no way we could, you know, the school will refund you because you've registered and you've attended classes and all that. So she's out of school now. So now, in this video, the purpose of this video is just to give you guys on some other ways you could get money in Canada, you know, uh, you know, like all this personal loan. So there are some loan, like emergency loan app and some loan company. We have so many loan companies in Canada that they can issue you an emergency fund within 24, 48 hours. If you need money as a student or as someone that you're in Canada here. Yeah. So now I did my research and I'm doing this video because of what this particular lady told me. I was like, there are so many loans you could, like so many, some companies you could and just contact them. They will just see you with that 2000 and you can then pay, you know, they will give you a breakdown on how to pay. Even if you pay early, sir, there is no interest, like you will not be charged and all. So that is the purpose of this video. And because a lot of students are currently out of school right now. I read it in the news, like, most Nigerian students are out of school in UK due to the high 
exchange rate and the same thing is in you know is happening right now in canada because of the current exchange rate dollar now is canadian dollar now is around 1,075 uh one dollar is 1075 you know per dollar so which is on the high side let's say your parents sent you Five thousand. That is currently like is even less than five uh, uh five thousand Canadian dollar right now. And how are you going to survive with working twenty hours per week? There is no way you have to you have to pay your house rent, pay a lot of things. So, but especially uh, people that are sponsored, like self sponsored and all that. You know they are really 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 trying going through hell just to save to pay their tuition fee to pay their lifestyle so the first company i'm going to mention is fair stone like it's a very popular company i don't know maybe you've heard it or this is your first time you know hearing the name so it's a very popular loom even they there's a lot of advert and everything about them now the thing about fair stone is that you you have to their interest rate is very high you know especially if you're a student they give loan to anybody and you know i check on their interest rate i check on you know, I uh, make a lot of research, a detailed research about the company to see if they are truly, truly worthy of, you know, uh, you know requesting loan from them. And so as a student, they will ask for your job offer. So that means you must be working for like six months in at that place of work before you can, they will offer you the loan. So you have to show a proof that you have the capacity to pay the money back and they can give you from, 1000 to 10000 Canadian dollars so even if they give you 10 grand 10000 can even use it to pay your school fee and you know pay back so and their interest rate is from 30% so which is quite no that is 30% in a year so now and which is quite still okay you know uh you can divide the money they, you can pay back every two two weeks. You know uh, they they can split it for you, depending on your capacity and all that. So uh, that is one thing. That is the first company I'm going to you know uh, recommend for you. They will they will give you the loan from two one thousand to ten thousand personal loan, and it is within forty eight hours. Like. They will issue you the loan within 48 hours and you're good to go. So it's the best choice for emergency phone as a student or anybody watching me. Now, the second company I will recommend is Spring Financial. Spring Financial also is a very reputable loan company and they have a very high approval chance, approval rates. They will not even check. You don't need to have a very high credit score, you know, to apply a loan from them. And they issue loan for students. You know, they don't discriminate. Maybe you're a student, you are this or that. Anybody can just. So far, you 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 have a moderate credit score then, and you're working, or you show proof that you can pay the money back. Then I will recommend. You know, Spring Financial also is a very good company that anybody can apply with, and their APR is nineteen percent, which is very very okay compared to Fairstone. So, uh, is a second choice. So now I think I'm going low. This is going like from high to low, so from high interest rate to low interest rate. So Spring Financial also. If you're a student watching me or you just you are someone in Canada and you need an emergency phone, you can just give them a shot. You know, maybe you want to pay your house rent, you want to pay something that is urgent, you can just give them a shot. The thing about uh, Spring Financial is they can you can request from five hundred dollars to thirty five thousand dollars. You can see thirty five grand still okay maybe you want to pay something your school fee at once then you have now you will not be paying back the debt so later on then you can do that so now they can give from 500 to thirty five thousand. but i don't think they will give a student thirty five thousand dollars. um um but they have a very high approval rate and that means they can give anybody but um I'm 99.9% .9 sure that they will not give a student 
35,000 because you can decide to take it and jack back, back home. So that is it. But I'm not sure. I'm not working with them. And this video is not sponsored by any company or anything. I'm just doing it for my own research and also... If you want Sprint Financial, maybe you, you, you just want something, you need money and also you can just give them a chance, at least try a log. So even if they didn't give you the 35 grand, they will give you a pre-approval of something, maybe 5,000, 10,000 and average is better than none, you know. So I think Sprint Financial is okay. Another company I would recommend is Fura, F-O-R-A. So Fura also is a very good loan application, loan company, and they they have a very low approval rate. So it means that they you are likely not to be granted the loan. So from uh Fura. So now maybe because they don't give students that much, or maybe because they will have to do a very high credit check so add check on your application so now but from what i check from my research so now they have a very low approval but having a low approval rate doesn't mean you will not be granted a loan but uh they have to do a lot of checking on your you know credit score a lot of check go up and down you have to submit more documents than the one i mentioned earlier so now and if you think you, you know, they are okay for you, then you can try the Fura. So it's okay. And they can issue from 1,000 to 10,000. And that's it. From 1,000 to 10,000. And their APR is 19.99. That is just like 20%. So, so now their APR is 20%. So now they will, you know, 20% of 10,000 or, or uh, 10, 20 or 20% of 5,000, depending on what you applied for so yeah just to round it up uh if maybe you want to start a business so you plan to start a business or so you can also try this business loan app so you know those one i mentioned earlier they are personal loan app this one i'm going to mention this is coming in a uh, business loan app so these are the company that or uh, that can issue you you know, a lot of money just for you to start business, to start a, start up a business here in Canada. So, and the first company is Johnny Capital. So, Johnny Capital, their APR is nine, 9%. nine So, 9%, you know, because they believe you want to start a business and you, you need money. And I, APR will be like giving, putting more burden on you know on your business so and they can give you up to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars but i don't think a student will be, i i see i'm not 100 sure but i don't think they will give a student business loan because you are still a temporary resident so uh i'm i'm i'm, I'm i don't think that well if you're a permanent resident watching me then you can go for this loan, but I'm not 100 percent sure a student will be giving up to 250000 I don't work for the company, but they can issue a loan for a business loan for students, but I don't think you'll be granted, you'll be pre-approved for 250000 So and the second one is driven. So now I think I'm gonna put their name you know up there so driven also you know they can give from five thousand to three hundred thousand canadian dollars five thousand to three hundred maybe i should do a separate video for this business loan maybe yeah maybe i should do a separate video for this so but if you uh, uh maybe I'll, I'll do a separate video for this so it to i'll make more research about the business loan if it's okay if uh, most of this company can also issue for a temporary resident i'm going to call them today then do another video about this maybe today or tomorrow it's still for i'm doing this video around 4 p.m so yeah i will call them call this company to ask if as a student in Canada I'm entitled to, to all this business loan or a temporary resident in Canada and if I'm entitled to any of this loan if I'm entitled then as for a business loan per se so then I'm I will do a video 
about that tomorrow if you're qualified and all. So, yeah, this will be the end of my video. My name is Taiwo. If this is your first time watching my video, don't forget to click on the like and the subscribe button. And um, if you have any question to ask me, go ahead and drop it as a comment below. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.